top of an office building in St. Paul. This design is something that's rarely seen here in the U.S. Five Eyewitness News reporter Naomi Peskovitz is live tonight in St. Paul to show us how this works. Naomi? Well, they'll eventually be part of an even larger energy making machine. They're really massive. The pole itself is nine feet tall. They're nine feet in diameter, and they've been turning heads all day. Big, blue, and bold, St. Paul resident Cami Larson thinks the turbines look a little out of place. I think a different building, the brown and the blue and the silver doesn't go together. But the unusual placement doesn't bother Keith McDonough. He's been walking by for the past few weeks. I've been waiting for him to start spinning. The turbines are formally called vertical axis wind turbines, and Tony Magnata put them up. He owns the building and sells the wind machines. Well, you can have a swirling wind, you can have a wind up above, below, or on the sides, and it continues to turn. The three will soon be joined by a fourth turbine in the parking lot. It will be twice the size and generate twice the power. With a series of solar panels, the system is expected to make the entire building self-sufficient. Though Tony admits he's left his neighbors quite curious. I had one lady stop and she said, it looked like something landed from Mars. What is that on the roof? Is that an antenna? I said, no, it's a wind turbine. The city told Magnata he could install the turbines with some conditions. He'll have to monitor the sound and make sure they don't harm birds. As for Cammie, she'll keep on watching. And if they're going to keep it there and it's going to create energy and save on the power, more power to them. And Tony Magnata's permit lasts about two years while the city looks into zoning for wind power in St. Paul. In the meantime, Tony's looking into using some of these smaller turbines to power street lights in the area. Live in St. Paul, I'm Naomi Peskovitz, 5 Eyewitness News. More power to him. Do you think she meant that pun? I think she did. <laughs> All right.